Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, a number of things have happened. Firstly, Ultimac Algo is now at full operational capacity, able to intercept and shoot down UFOs, like this one here, that we took out with a pair of avalanche missiles and then another pair of them. We also took out a very small UFO that blew up into tiny little pieces. This UFO appears to have survived remarkably intact, as we have seen a number of floaters. The tank here has a uh, shot on this floater, but with it being so low I think that a uh, wall is going to block its line of sight. So instead I'm going to move Deacon over to see if we can- ooh! Okay, we can see this floater that is trying to flank our squad. Barry here should be able to take care of this floater, with a selection of auto shots. Have at thee! A fine flanking maneuver indeed. We could try and take out this uh, floater, but instead what I'm going to do- actually, I, I think actually trying to take out this floater is a sound idea. We need to take out this floater, sooner rather than later. We'll probably want to move you up. As far as we can- ooh! You spot someone. You spot that floater over there, and that is a target that I believe this tank can try and take out. If we have you try and aim at this floater here, can you take out this floater? No line of fire. If we move you, say, over to here, will you then have a line of fire? You might be able to. Let's see if you do. We'll move you to here, snapshot. Yes, it was a terrible miss, but you do get a second chance. That was much better. Goodbye, floater. And this tank is going to be a fine target for this floater. We'll just turn you round, front armor facing there. Do we want to try and shoot you? Maybe a little. Let's try here. Let's just uh, take a few shots. Can't do it. Let's force fire. Take out this wall a bit. And then have you move back to here. Marvellous. We probably want to do stuff with the uh, rookies by now. So let's move a rookie over here and see if we can force fire to here. Take out some of this wall, certainly. Ooh! You probably will have a shot soon. But for now, I actually want you to go and hide. Because if you don't, we might be in some bother. Let's see if we can get another rookie to uh, take some shots. You are not a rookie, Master Chief. Number nine, however, is a rookie. And a few more shots, and maybe we can take out this floater. That was a little bit- ooh! Brilliant, number nine! Your first confirmed kill. And I am not going to begin to pretend that that was the last floater, because the mission is still going on, which tells me, quite plainly, that there are more floaters here. So we need to be careful. We need to make sure that we can find this floater. I imagine the floater is still in the UFO, the surprisingly intact UFO. The pretty immaculate UFO. Go over there, just in case there happens to be a uh, alien in this building, or up here. I'm very concerned that there's an alien up here. But that alien might have uh, gone down here. We have taken out a lot of them. What, three? Four? A lot. A lot of them indeed. I think that's probably good enough. Maybe we should move uh, Master Chief down to here, and we will move the final uh, rookie out of the Sky Ranger, Loopy McGoopin. If we're lucky, we could have uh, Loopy McGoopin uh, take out a uh, alien. Okay, there is an alien still in the UFO. What we want to do is we want to move the tank over so that we have a fine shot should we want it. There we go. Ooh, you're actually outside the UFO right now. That is interesting. If we move you, will you... you will not draw the fire of the, uh, of the floater. Okay, Loopy McGoopin, if we put you here... this is a risk. It's a big risk. Chances are you're not gonna miss, though. Marvellous. 
There's another one. There is another alien. Where is that alien? I have no idea, but I'm very concerned now. There is another alien somewhere in this area. Likely in the UFO. This UFO just appears to be full of aliens. Absolutely full of them. We're gonna move you around to here. We're gonna move Awesome Possum to here. You'll notice that I haven't yet deployed Angel out of the Sky Ranger. There's a reason for that, and it's called She Has a Rocket Launcher, and I'd rather not have the Rocket Launcher uh, reaction fire and kill everyone. End turn. Oh yes! There is one alien there. And that alien killed Loopy McGoopin. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can get our revenge, though. There is the alien. Excellent. A shot in the back, and we have taken out the final foe. I'd hoped that that wouldn't happen, but losing one soldier is fine. We still got 162 positive. Poor Loopy McGoopin. You would have made it to Squaddy had you not have died. But one dead, not the worst scenario. We got uh, things that we could sell. We also got uh, various things that uh, we can uh, hold on to. Likely some Illyrium, for instance. We really want to hold on to that Illyrium. Illyrium is very valuable. It's also very useful as well. You don't get many opportunities to get Illyrium. So, if you get one, take it. We want to uh, get somebody else on the Sky Ranger here. It is time, I think, for... I think it's time for you, to be honest. But we can't have you uh, go on the Sky Ranger yet, because we still need to wait. There we go. We actually uh, want to go to Soldiers, and let's see, Equip. There we go, and welcome, Superfly! Hopefully, you will be a fine soldier indeed. It is halfway through the month, and we have shot down a UFO and dealt with it, and we have destroyed a UFO. Unfortunately, one UFO also got away. That's not so good. And so, we shall let time move on. The personal armor has been manufactured, which is good. Let us go back to making oodles of money. Because we like making oodles of money. Speaking of oodles of money, we now have uh, 104,000. It's not a lot. But, if we were to sell stuff that we uh, just got, not at this base though. This is not the base to do that at. This is the base to do that at. We want to sell, we have a lot of heavy plasma. That's good. Let us uh, get rid of this and that. How many floaters were there? There were six floaters on that mission. Six of them. And we got some Illyrium. Illyrium is good. We only get 5,000 per Illyrium. Trust me, it's very good to have. We also have some uh, power sources and navigation. You know what? Let's actually sell a couple of these. We could do with the money. A million is a good thing to have. We could double the amount of, uh, of engineers that we have here. And you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to double the amount of... Actually, before we do that, can we? Yes, yes, we can actually get 40 people doing that. So let's actually uh, continue the, uh, the uh, money uh, that we're going to be gaining by getting 20 more engineers. 40 engineers manufacturing things constantly to earn tons of money. We are broke once more, but we won't be broke for much longer. Oh, trust me, we won't be broke for much longer. We will be making loads of money. The terror mission is inevitably going to happen soon. While I'm thinking about it, buy some large rockets. We want some large rockets. We also uh, need to buy a few more small rockets. But we want some large rockets too. They're not expensive. I'd like to try them out, see how they are. We have one more soldier. Let us name this soldier. You have pretty terrible bravery, but your throwing accuracy is exceptionally impressive. So what shall we call you? What is your name? Who are you? Who are you, soldier? You are Postman Pat. Not with a square bracket. Excellent. Welcome to the squad, Postman Pat. I'm sure you will be an asset to the team. 
Also, did we actually manufacture the uh, suit of personal armor? I'm not sure that we did. Let us see if I did. Do you have personal armor to wear? You do! I did! Excellent. Not much more to do, really. We could start manufacturing things for this base, and actually doing that is a sensible idea. So let us uh, actually stop the uh, this here and get ten laser rifles ready. Just ten. We don't need many. It's... can we actually afford that? That's a good I No, actually, we can afford it. We can afford it. So let us do that. We need to manufacture these quickly. So, we go to laser rifles. We get ten of them. Or well, everybody working on it, rather, and we get ten of them. There we go. That's 200,000 down the drain. But this base will work to uh, compensate for the uh, money that we're spending. We got some rockets. Good. Anything else? We got some engineers. We need to allocate them to this immediately. Excellent. Now we're making 2.8 million at both bases. In theory, right now this base is a little bit busy. It's very busy. Doing urgent things, very important things though. Getting the uh, third... Ooh! We have finished researching heavy plasma. This is a devastatingly powerful weapon based on accelerating particles from within a minute anti-gravity field. You will need to research a heavy plasma clip in order to produce the heavy plasma. Speaking of heavy plasma clips, that's exactly what we're going to be researching next. We need to figure out how to use these guns. I'd like to use them. Time goes by. The laser rifles have been manufactured. Next, we want to make a few uh, suits of personal armor. About ten. How much money do we have to do that? We have enough, which is good. And there is a terror mission. Center on the site. There is no time for delay. We have to go right now. It's a long way away. We're going to be doing this at night. Again. But it is what it is. If only we'd have had a Sky Ranger here, we might have been able to get there in time. This could be bad. This is going to be bad. Why am I saying that it could be bad? And I didn't equip the large rockets, did I? No, I did not. Terror site number four. Terror site number four. Okay, you have more carry capacity. Can you? You can now carry a uh, smoke grenade. That's good. What's not good is everything else. Also, you can finally carry that, which is good. What else can we do? You can carry... Not that, we don't want that. You can't carry that. Okay. This is all kinds of bad. Why don't you have a second one? Can't hurt, after all. This is all kinds of really bad. Let's see how bad. It's very dark. We are likely to be shot by an alien. Very likely. Are we in a corner? No, we are not in a corner. Let's get the tank out. See what the damage is. Oh dear. Okay, welcome to chrysalids. What do chrysalids do? Chrysalids are phenomenally deadly melee combatants. What they tend to do is that they tend to uh, attack civilians turn them into zombies, and then eventually those zombies will become more chrysalids. This is going to be interesting. Is this a corner? It may be a corner. I don't know. This means that we're paired up with snake men. Snake men aren't that deadly. It's the chrysalids that are a problem. There are no chrysalids behind us. This, at least, there is a snake man, though, looking through the window. And another chrysalid over there. Chrysalids are phenomenally fast. They are exceptionally quick, and this is going to be a bad, bad mission. Hopefully you can shoot this. You missed. Okay. There's a part of me that just wants to stay in the Sky Ranger right now, and just let these chrysalids uh, move in other directions. But unfortunately, that's not going to get us a high rating. It was inevitable that at some point we would have to fight chrysalids. And I do not have heavy plasma weaponry. 
I don't have it. Chrysalids are melee combatants. All they do is they uh, they rush up and attack things. In theory, we could just stay in the Sky Ranger and let them move to other targets. But as I said, there are civilians to consider. And if they attack civilians, they will make more chrysalids. Can we at least get rid of this one? I'm hoping we can get rid of at least this chrysalid. They have a hundred units of movement on the first turn. That's devastating. Just, just move forward. Hopefully, you can distract them at least a little. Barry, you could move over to here. You get 52, which is enough for two sets of auto shots. Two sets of them. It's a poor plan. It's a poor gambit. But we really don't have much choice. It's actually probably better if Sub-Zero does this. Moves with 49 and gets two more. You move to here. We have to try. We have to take out at least this chrysalid. Chrysalids, at least, not having any ranged weapons, will not reaction fire. That is the one benefit of chrysalids. Unfortunately, the other benefit is entirely negated by the fact that uh, we need to kill this and not hit the civilian. That chrysalid is dead. That took three successful hits with a laser to kill that chrysalid. Three. Just crouch. It's the best chance you've got. Okay, Barry. You could move over to here with 42. Or you could move over to here with 48. Moving over to here seems like a better idea. Oh! There was a shot from over there. Probably from in here. Okay, this is all kinds of terrible. All kinds of terrible. Do you want to take a shot from here? I actually want somebody else to take a shot. Awesome Possum, C can you take a shot? From here, maybe? Please? Can you shoot this snake man? In the back. A fine hit. Unfortunately, you can see the chrysalid. The chrysalid can see you. This means the chrysalid is probably going to run forward with all of the desire to murder everyone here. Generally, this is a poor, poor thing. This first turn is going to be very indicative of uh, how well we do. I want Deacon to move over here, mainly because I want to be able to... Uh, also, we don't want you to stay here. If we end the turn, we don't want you here. Somebody tried to shoot you here. They tried to kill you. We can't move the tank. We can't move you. We can move you, but not very far. Having just a firing line of uh, soldiers here actually isn't a terrible idea. Just lining them up so that they can take shots at the, uh, at the chrysalid. Oh dear. This is... As I said, it was going to happen. At some point, we were going to fight chrysalids. There's one there, just staring in at the boxes, going, Oh, I wonder if there are any humans in there, soon to become more chrysalids. We don't want more chrysalids. There's a snake man in here. Snake men, they have no psionic powers. They do tend to have pretty heavy firepower. I'm pretty sure you had a, uh, a heavy plasma gun. It's a good thing we're researching them, because as soon as we get them, we're going to equip our better soldiers with heavy plasma guns, because they are very deadly, far more powerful than the laser guns. There are very few things that the laser guns are intrinsically better at killing. One of them is a very late-game terror unit. But chrysalids. Oh my chrysalids. This could be a long painful terror mission, and if we get any positive score from this at all, I will be amazed. The only thing that maybe works in your favor, in theory, is the fact that uh, when you kill the chrysalids that come about from the civilians, you do get points for killing aliens. You also lose points for uh, the civilians dying. We don't want you to become a chrysalid, but I also don't want to kill you. You may think, oh, but it's the lesser of uh, two terrible things happening. No, do not want to kill the civilians. I'll lose probably more points than I would have uh, 
lost if that thing became a chrysalid, and then I kill it. As long as we stay together as a group, as long as we ensure that the chrysalids can't sneak up on us, we should be alright. And I know that I'm not dared to do anything right now, because chrysalids. That thing right there. This map is probably huge. Is that the end of the map? That is actually the corner. If we can clear out this part of the map, this part, we can maybe sweep through. But in the dark, this is going to be tricky. Oh my, is it going to be tricky. And when we come back, folks, chrysalids! Everyone's worst nightmare in this game. A chrysalid terror mission in the dark. We're doomed. Or maybe not! Maybe Barry can pull through and achieve victory and we need to hit these things three times to kill them. We need to hit them three times. I wonder how many of these soldiers will see Ultimac Tyrion again. We'll find out next time. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.